guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Sherry here from No Fix Skin Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a Divine Feminine reading for December the 18th until January the 1st. So it will encompass a two-week period. Um, so I am going to be doing an energy update at the uh, 1221 portal. So um, yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful holiday. So I'm going to be doing a crystal ball reading using my deck. And I think that I've given them enough of a shuffle. So it's um, distant past, recent past, present, near future, final outcome, four cornerstone cards, which represent main energy of the reading, and then one center card, which is message from the universe. Okay, so first cornerstone card, temperance. Wow, beautiful card to begin with. So this is um, a state of balance, being in the now, uh, being patient, right? Um, having balance in all areas of your life spiritually emotionally physically mentally as a cornerstone card that's beautiful this is also an ultimate union card for twin flames it's a soul coming back together reuniting um, winding as one uh, so this could mean a balance of the feminine within herself and i can definitely feel that energy in the twin flame reading next is death card so the feminine um, has gone through a major transformation metamorphosis in the past uh, masculine is going through this energy in the current moment or will be in the next two weeks so this is death of the ego death of your old identity cutting away the old so that the new can come in uh, so major me metamorphosis two major arcanas so far Wow, the Queen of Wands, the Masculine had this on, um, in the Masculine reading um, in the distant past as well. So you were that light, that beacon. So here we have you being represented as the Queen of Wands, somebody who's very passionate, center of attention, a leader, even a spiritual leader. So this is um, guiding others. It is um, inspiring others, being creative. And just having people being drawn towards you, you're like a magnet. Next is nice, the full card. So the masculine also got this this card uh, in the same distant past position. So he had it here, I believe. So here we have the feminine taking a leap of faith, um, starting from zero, being childlike, free. So mirroring. So you were reborn. Here you went through that death, that transformation, and here you are reborn as the fool. And what I see here is a spiritual empowerment or rebirth, I should say. Final cornerstone card in the distant past is the Seven of Swords. So the masculine also got a sword card as a cornerstone, which was the Nine of Swords. He also had the Ten of Swords in the recent past, so he moved through that energy. But we do have that mirroring effect happening with the Seven of Swords in the same position as a cornerstone. So these are negative thoughts, feeling betrayed, feeling lied to, stabbed in the back, not being able to trust. Okay, so that is that was standing in your way of fully being free and you had the six of swords and how you see this relationship with the masculine so you are trying to release negative thoughts recent past no way oh my god ten of swords same position as the masculine <laughs> oh my god that is so cool so we do have that movement out of that mental noise you guys are mirroring each other perfectly so you put an end to that right this is a feeling of um you know, the dark night of the soul, 10 is completion of it, though. 
no more negative thoughts, right? So that has ended. Next, nice, the sun. Wow, the masculine had the knight of wands. He was the phoenix coming out of that darkness, rising from the fire, right? And here we have that same kind of energy of this roaring sun, roaring ball of beautiful energy from this death from the darkness. So the sun is the most positive card in the deck. Just one moment. Sorry about that. Okay, so the sun is the most positive card in the deck. Uh, so this is um, excitement, enthusiasm, love, abundance, prosperity, every positive emotion you can imagine. Um, this is also a rebirth card. This is returning to innocence, very similar to the fool. So Again, we have that rebirth energy coming from that death or ending. So let me just give these another quick shuffle. Um, finding your own light within your power, right? The sun is masculine energy as well. Okay. So, oh, jeez that stay okay uh, next wow the moon so the Sun and the moon and the mouse gonna also got this in the near future facing his fears so um, these are things that are hidden um, you know this is the unconscious mind your shadow side I feel that you know light cannot exist in darkness so you know, we got all this darkness surrounding this sun energy. Um, it's like that light beacon, right? But I almost feel this is like cycles of completion as well. Now the moon is right below the queen of wands. So again, that's fiery energy. I'm going to pull one clarifier for that card. So what do you mean by the sun and the moon? What do you mean specifically by the moon? Courage, strength is needed. Okay, so restraint, being calm within. So, you know, courage is needed for you to face your fears, your darkest fears, your shadow side, but it feels like you've already done that, right? You put an end to a lot of aspects, a lot of negative thoughts and energy already in your life. And so you've, you've become more confident, you're more calm within, you have courage and strength, right, to face your fears and overcome. Okay, next is, wow, solar plexus chakra. So this card is also about power and strength. Okay, strength, strength, you know, this is confidence. Um, it is a lower chakra. The solar plexus is number three. So there is a blockage here. I usually read it as a blockage. So, you know, there was something, you know, that you needed to, to face in the recent past. And I feel that you found that courage to overcome. Next, seven of cups. So this is... Um, knowing what you not you want, not knowing how to get there, having a lot of options. So there's it's confusion, cloudiness, similar energy of a veil, you know, of confusion as the moon, needing to know something. Right? We have that seven of swords. Here's another seven. Um, so this is like seeking answers, or again another transition energy. So. Um, you feel, you felt powerless, you felt confused, you felt left in the dark. Uh, but there is a lot of courage and strength here. Like I said, it's like this, from that darkness, there's this burst of, of power and fire. And this card is also, you know, follow your heart. So present position is wow two of cups so this is spiritual union 
recognizing your twin flame, your soulmate, um, having the heart chakra activation, which opens up higher levels of, you know, consciousness. So in the present moment, the feminine feels um, connected with her twin flame, um, feels deep love, oneness in the 5D with the twin. I think these are in the wrong position. Let me just move them back a bit. Okay, next is... <clears throat> sorry. Page of Swords. So this is an important communication card. Um, so the, either the feminine wants to communicate very openly, honestly, not hold anything back, um, has ideas, had made, has made decisions, has mental clarity, um, made connections, mental connections, because we see illumination with the moon, right? Um, and the, the spiritual union card, but beside it, it's like she knows her truth, she knows what she wants, and a desire to communicate, or is, or is communicating. So the next card is the main message from the universe. Wow, Six of Cups reunion somebody from the past coming back somebody from childhood previous life but this card represents memories of love so remember your twin flame hold on to you know that that loving feeling within your heart and there's a sense that there is going to be a reunion for some twin flames and it's the main message from the universe right there's this spiritual connection here and there's a sense of reunion um, on its way, perhaps. So let me just pull a clarifier for that. What do you mean by the Six of Cups? It's right below the moon. Courage and strength is needed. Why? Yes. Yes, reunion. Yes, whatever you thought, whatever question you had, whatever ideas you have, there's illumination, there's um, this energy is being brought to you, I guess. Yes, okay. <laughs> whatever question you had is yes. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. Next, wow, throat chakra. I, I knew it. My throat's been really scratchy through this reading. So the feminine wants to communicate or there is communication coming in. Page of Swords, right, is the double communicator, throat chakra, very important communication card. Um, so you may be hearing from your twin flame soon if you haven't heard from them, or you will be speaking your truth, right? So we got two chakras here. It is moving up in higher levels. Um, the next one would be the heart chakra, or no, sorry, um, the heart chakra was below this one, so... You know, you have to feel love to be able to express yourself, your true emotions, your true feelings, and open up. Um, and it looks to me like it, you know, has to do with this new beginning in the past and a coming back, right? And we see that reunion energy in the masculine reading. Wow, Queen of Cups. So this was a cornerstone card for the masculine, the very first card. You are the Queen of Cups. You are the Queen of Love. Right, and so continue to, to give that love to all. This is also very intuitive energy. So even though that you're lost, you, you don't know if you can trust, you're still projecting love, unconditional love, and what you, you know, it's cause and effect, what you send out, you get back. So near future, five of pentacles, disconnect, feeling alone. Feeling disconnected in the 3D reality it also means that you need to release something to gain your freedom. Um, could be a financial loss, but in the near future, there's a feeling of being disconnected, feeling alone. Next, Nine of Wands. Wow, Wounded Warrior. So um, the feminine, you had the Ten of Wands as an overall energy for the Twin Flame reading. So there was a feeling of carrying a lot of burden on your back feeling like you have a lot of responsibilities, you have your toes dipped in too many things, and the temperance card is all about temperance, right? Restraint, regaining that balance. 
but this card is also one of wanting to give up but it does mean spiritual strength that you within the you know the core of who you are you have that strength to keep going right so you may be tested in the near future because you feel alone you want that reunion <clears throat> magician master manifester so this is a reminder or a realization an activation that you have the power to manifest whatever you desire into your reality you have that power so you know this is downloading ideas um, inspiration from source so I do see it as an activation and number one very cool synchronicity again the masculine had the fool in the past and the magician in the future. So, new beginnings, right? But it, it's up to you to make that reunion manifest or it doesn't materialize. One of the two. It's hard to know for sure. All right, next. It, wow, the Knight of Cups. This came in as a message from the universe on the feminine side. So, the Knight is movement forward. Um, it is. Um, courting energy, so it's an offer of love. It is a longing energy as well. So what you're manifesting is love into your life. It has to do with communication and this new beginning, this power struggle within yourself. Um, and because you are sending out that true love and that is what comes to you, or you are continuing to send it out, one of the two. You feel alone, you feel tested, you feel like giving up, but then again, here's this new beginning manifested, right? The magician is number one, the knight is also a new beginning of romantic relationship, and like I said, we have that six of cups there, which is reunion. There's that ten of wands, cool synchronicity though, nine to the ten, completion of that, ending to feeling the burden, putting those wands down, so this is being caught in the machine, giving too much of yourself. So this comes to an end, this burden. Nice. So cornerstone card, final row. Wow, king of cups. Noise. Noise. King and queen. The two of cups, reunion energy here, definitely. So the King of Cups is somebody who is very emotionally stable. Um, the love is pure, unconditional. There's a feeling that you felt disconnected from this spiritual union. You've been patient. You feel lost in the darkness, but you found your way out. Um, you're in a state of unconditional love, right, and manifestation, and this is what you manifest, is the King of Cups, not Kurt Cobain, <laughs> the King of Cups, so somebody who loves very deeply, as a cornerstone, beautiful. Next is, nice, the Page of Cups, so right below the Page of Swords there, so very important communication is coming towards you. and of course you know we got the, the queen the knight the king page is a new beginning communicating love so there could be messages of love coming towards you or vice versa nice the knight of wands I mentioned that it showed up in the sun position there for the masculine so it's almost like this is a masculine coming from his reading, right, on his fiery horse of passion, um, manifesting this reunion, right, towards the Queen of Wands, towards the beacon of light. So this is very fast, fiery, passionate movement forward towards that spiritual quest or vision, um, desire, Wow, Nine of Swords. So that's a card that showed up over here. So um, the Nine of Swords was blocking the masculine reading. So this could be the masculine replaying some fears because he does need to overcome some fears in the near future. You've already overcome those fears and released that energy. Um, 
So this could be the mass one. So I'm just going to point pull one clarifier for that. What do you mean by the nine of swords showing up on the feminine side? Is this the feminine's energy? Is the masculine's energy? I feel that the feminine really is in a state of peace in her heart. But in terms of her being on the spiritual journey, she is... She's done. She's tired. She wants. Um, she wants to manifest that union into her life. She, you know, she feels she's been tested enough. She's tired. What do you mean by the nine of swords, spirit? Please fix it, restore it. Beginnings. So epiphany. Um, so it is a paradigm shift conscious shift so what I feel is you know the masculine overcoming this fear really restoring whatever was broken in the past um, yeah the nine of swords it's very dark energy, um, and it's you know it's almost like he's on that fiery horse. There's nothing that can stop that, and he just moves through that dark energy very quickly. Or, you know, the feminine it could culminate to a point where she's back in her mind again, um, worried that you know her love won't return. You know, because this is all about reunions. Remember, the six of cups is right at the middle, and here we have that reunion energy here and here um, yeah I don't know whatever it means for you I guess okay final cornerstone card Wow four of Pentacles so feminine um, you know this is a card of being closed off not allowing somebody in holding on too tightly so that's gonna be <clears throat> a cornerstone card that's not what I want to see as a final card whoa so let me just pull a clarifier for that. What do you mean by the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords? Oh my God. This can't be the feminine being closed off. We kind of saw that closed off energy with the masculine. Here we see a progression from the f or regression from the Five to the Four. Um, what do you mean? That one? Okay. Time of Chaos out of balance so a storm so it's like there's this you know we saw that a really winded energy on the masculine present moment um, and we can see here, here a fiery loving energy coming towards the feminine I definitely feel that um, so it may create some tension and chaos in, in the feminine's life when things have been somewhat peaceful. I mean, we do have that burden, but I think it's more of a spiritual burden. She feels like she needs to do all the work. She needs to reach out. She needs to do this and that. But, um, you know, I'm just going to pull one card as um, clarifier for these two very unusual cards to end on. What do you mean by the Nine of Swords and the Four of Pentacles? Oh boy, okay. So <laughs> the uh, Page of Cups, understanding, that's beautiful. That's absolute. Thank you, Spirit. And the Destiny card just flipped up here. So um, this is time of change. It is chaos. Um, but the Destiny card, you can't stop Destiny. So let me, that's beautiful. It's, you know, you can see the, the birds coming out of the cage, right? And there's a kind of caged energy here, being closed off, caged in with the Nine of Swords. Alright, so... So the Page of Cups is the same card here. Okay, so it says, The bird pictured on this card is looking out from what seems to be a cage. There is no door, and actually, the bars are disappearing. The bars were an illusion, and this small bird is being summoned by the grace and freedom and encouragement of others. There's that encouragement 
energy again. Um, it is spreading its wings, ready to take flight for the very first time. Uh, the dawn of a new understanding that the cage has always been open and the sky has always been there for us to explore um, can make us feel a little shaky at first. It is fine and natural to be shaky, but don't let it overshadow the opportunity to experience the light lightheadedness, lightheartedness, and adventure on offer right there alongside the shakiness. Move with sweetness and gentleness of this time. Feel the fluttering within. Spread your wings and be free. Okay, so I feel that destiny is on its way, <laughs> right? And so you have the power to release yourself from that, that prison that you've created. I do see it now. Um, you are free. You know, those bars are an illusion. Um, so allow that energy to come towards you um, or communicate your love one or the other don't close yourself off so let me pull one card as a message from the universe hopefully this will give us a deeper message what do you mean well, I guess okay that card sure Boy, I never ever pick flippers, but Spirit is very enthusiastic this time around. So we have Hemadryad Lake. Okay, so I think this is a feeling of not being enough, being vulnerable. But let me just read it. Okay, so 32. Oh, wrong book. Alrighty, so Hemadryad, Hemadryad Lake. The lake she looks alluring, home to fairy folk and frogs, yet beneath the placid glass that lies an enchantress in the fog. She drinks her fill of innocence and subs upon your soul, withering your sense of self until her bowels are full. A vulnerable nymph rests herself beside a mystical lake. It is a beautiful, it is beautiful magical place and she finds herself drawn into a false sense of security not knowing of the deception and waiting for her below the surface so yeah you can kind of see a, a false sense of security here and then booyah there's this drama that sneaks up on her okay so the meaning is beware of deception and enchantment a female with bad designs will seek to lead you astray when you're at your most vulnerable she may be enchanting but do not allow her to lure you down an improper path Though you may feel defenseless, know that as long as you stay true to yourself, you will not be led astray. Keep your wits about you. The nephrous female in question may not be a stranger. She may be someone you already know, whose goals are at odds with your own. Whether she is a trusted colleague, a long-term acquaintance, a dazzling new friend, do not be deceived by the glamour of what she proposes. If a situation sounds too good to be true, trust your instincts. It is a deception. Well... I feel that the feminine keeps getting this card, so I'm going to ask Spirit to give us one more card. Okay, I'm going to pull from uh, the good tarot here, just one more card as a message from the universe. Um, you know, telling the feminine not to trust women over and over and over again, or trust not to trust people. Well, okay, it's pointing to that Seven of Swords. Right, not being able to trust, and that could cause you to be closed off. But this card is more of a warning. What do you mean, spirit? One more message. The Queen of Fire. Ha <laughs> ha. The Queen of No Fucks Given. Be the Queen of Fire. Do not be swayed or led astray. Do not let people whisper in your ears and say you're not good enough. Um, the queen of fire does not put up with bullshit. She knows her power. No, I just gotta remember where I, the freaking court cards are. Uh, okay, hold on guys, sorry. I think it's at the beginning. Yes, they are. Okay, here we Oh, wow. Right away. Okay, so the Queen of Fire, look how strong she's standing there, very confident. 
um, so creative uh, collaboration, soul connection, passion inspired by spirit artist. I am capable of strong friendships that inspire me and encourage me to express myself in my own way. I co-create with others dedicated to a vision of achieving the highest good of all. Yes, yes, there's that um, spiritual leader energy that I was feeling, that I was picking up in the twin flame. Um, so how might I join the dance of co-creation, letting spirit flow through me and inspire me to express my passions? So express, express your passions. Don't be this vulnerable, childlike, victimized energy. Be bold, right? Express yourself. Be creative. Um, forge new paths, right? Be that beacon onto others. That is perfect. Oh my God. Okay, guys, so I do hope this helps, and I am sending so much love um, during this holiday season. All right, cheers.